Right guys, I don't want to start with the generic in intro, like, hey guys, how you doing? I could say that, but I'm not going to bother. Um, essentially, with this uh, video today, I'm not going to do any, like, um, split intro at the front, because it's really more as a, a progression journey video on my weight loss, if you get what I mean. So, I'll upload, uh, I'll put a clip on one of these sides here. Uh, essentially I put a video up maybe a month ago maybe a month and a half ago who knows uh, regarding starting the weight loss journey and my plan was to start at the start of January uh, the first week I was doing really well and then suddenly I was I think the second week I became really unwell and I well the doctors thought I had a sinus infection rather it wasn't a sinus infection but after being put on two rounds of antibiotics um they were like oh maybe you should go to the dentist because rather than it being a uh, sinus infection uh you've got an issue with your tooth and guys anyway that's i might do another video on that because i think people might be interested to hear my experience on dry socket if you've had your tooth extracted having that kind of infection afterwards the worst kind of pain so i'll do a separate dedicated video because there may be people that's going through this and need a video or someone to discuss these kind of things so that's actually a good topic i will do this video and i'll plan it for this week that that took six to seven weeks and um yeah i've been what is it now it is today 10th of march and i've only started to slowly heal up a week ago <clears throat> yeah it's taken majority of january and all of february so it's taken ages just to feel okay again so during that period i couldn't focus on my weight loss journey because i was so out of it being unwell on all this kind of medication on painkillers <clears throat> but i'm gonna get into it now and this is what i want to discuss guys i'm gonna do what i'm planning to do guys is that two weekly videos so a video every week but i'm going to focus on doing that when i come back from holiday i'm going to vietnam and i'll be vlogging that as well on the 1st of april once i'm back from there uh which is gonna be roughly two weeks i'm gonna continuously every two weeks be vlogging my health journey this will be recorded on this channel because obviously it's a lifestyle channel and lifestyle compromises of your health too there'll be a separate playlist which you can watch so you can watch every single video and it'd be great to get your guys feedback and if you're on the same journey let's do this together and smash this because once i'm back i'm going to follow this through to the end of this year so guys currently my weight is um, fluctuating between 83 kilos and 84 kilos what i want to try and get to is 67 68 but if i can even get to 70 kilos that'd be a massive win because I haven't been at that weight for a very 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 long time so <clears throat> I want to be held accountable so by putting these video ups it not only held, holds me accountable obviously you guys aren't going to do the work for me but also people that are on the same journey we can discuss motivate each other it will all help to get to that direction because I'm pretty sick of <clears throat> being at this weight for many reasons obviously you need to be careful of health because if you keep putting on weight it's gonna go so high to the point you can't control it and then once you lose control then it's so difficult if you need to lose 30 40 kilos more <clears throat> that's gonna be hard so guys reviewing the nhs chart the bmi chart right it's shown that well when i looked at it last year it was shown that to be in bmi i need to be 66 kilo <clears throat> 500 grams or something like this <clears throat> for me it's not a big deal if i'm a few kilos away 70 68 it doesn't bother me i don't care about being in that bmi because <clears throat> it's just a number they they take account of a lot of factors but for me a few kilos off is not a big deal for me it's a massive achievement because i've never even been near the bmi so <clears throat> And, you know, obviously long term, I could see if I want to get into the higher end of the BMI. But, <clears throat> yeah, 67, uh, 68, 70, I'm happy at. However, the NHS have uh, done a massive change recently. And this only affects Indian people, guys. So for those watching, this only affects Indian people. So if you go on the BMI, <clears throat> this, uh, uh, what's it called, you could check your BMI where you're at. 
for, Caca for Caucasian people, the upper end at my height is still 66, but for Indians, it's brought it down now to 61 kilos. The reason behind that is uh, illnesses like diabetes, heart attacks, it affects more Indian people for some reason. We're more prone to getting unwell and extremely um, at high health risks at uh, just being the same way as someone that's Caucasian. I don't know, <clears throat> for me, I know what that says, but I'm, st I don't, I'm still gonna aim for the 66, 67 as I kind of had it at before, or <clears throat> 70. I don't really care too much what the BMI chart says, even though it's saying it for a positive reason. I don't have any desire to be that low of a weight. So that's that, guys. Um, in terms of how I'm going to approach this, <clears throat> this is obviously what you want to know guys because there's going to be a factor, factor for you to review as well. So in terms of calories, from my research, um, the calories I want to be sticking up is anywhere between <clears throat> 1200 to 1400 calories in that remit there and not going... Well, if you do go above that threshold, you need to be fitting in exercise and that's something I'll be getting into. 1200 to 1400 daily and if you do go up one day try and bring it down the next day um, and focusing obviously if you do addition obviously if you do additional exercise fitness pal will take that all into account and adjust the calorie accordingly obviously if it gives you a higher calorie amount don't go using all of it try to use as little as possible so that's that in terms of exercise guys i find the thing is when i do intense exercise at the gym I don't know what the reason is. I get very, very sick. I don't. There's. I don't know what the reason is. I've discussed it with the doctors, and that's another thing I'm going to get onto blood tests because doing intense exercise <clears throat> affects my work. Because if I get sick, by sick I mean I catch colds and flus quickly. That would mean time off work, which impacts my work, and that's something I don't want. So the exercise I'm going to be focusing on is doing walking doing plenty of walking and weight training several times a week um reason with weight training i'm less affected as well again i don't know the reason that's what it is so that's what i'm going to be doing in terms of now moving on to the next thing before you start actually i should have said this at the beginning my god before you start any weight loss journey guys it's imperative Get your health checked, run it past a doctor because especially if you've got medical conditions you might need to be careful of some things but get a blood test done to see if your health is all up to check. If you've already got thyroid issues that might already be contributing to your weight gain. So get your blood test, get a health checkup done. So I've done all mine, I haven't come out as low in anything like in terms of say vitamins or anything like that so that's good my thyroid's fine my hormone levels are all fine my diabetes is fine everything is fine and it came out all good and i'm good to exercise uh, the doctor said just be careful <clears throat> don't restrict too much uh, because the chances are it can cause some kind of um, other health issues <clears throat> implications on your organs when you restrict the calories too much and doing a 1200 calorie uh, diet is never advisable long term because it's very hard to stick to like I've never been on it but for people on it I presume it's going to be very hard to stick to and essentially if you can't stick to those calories after say losing the weight then the weight will come on very quickly so it's just something to bear in mind and that's something I need to be careful of as well. So how many kilos do I want to lose and what's kind of the time frame? So what I've done is I want to lose <clears throat> a minimum of one kilo or one and a half every month. So bare minimum one kilo guys every single month. Now that is an achievable goal without putting too much strenuous stress on me as well because if you set out one kilo a week or even two kilos you need to put your foot down and make sure you do a lot of exercise sh very strict on your diet it's very hard goal to me so i've kept out one kilo to one and a half a month obviously long term if you stick to it you'll take a good chunk of weight off your body so uh, if i look at that kind of goal i mean the target 
even of 70 kilos okay, if i start like example april this is just an example obviously i am going to control it earlier but say for example april april may june july august september october november december so losing one kilo every month that will equate to nine kilos at the end of the year <clears throat> now moving on to next year um that would okay january january february march april may june so next june if i stick to basically losing the kilo or even a kilo and a half 15 kilos would be off and i'll be at 70 kilos wait not 70 69 68 okay i'm, I'm forgetting the numbers and if i get to there it'd be great i'll be very happy and then i'll see from that point on but yeah that's that's kind of the direction i want to go in yeah so i want to keep in terms of the diet i want to keep it high protein and low carbohydrates uh somewhat high fats so i but don't worry i'll be logging in terms of i'll be going through the foods with you which i'm having and anything i can advise that you you know i can recommend to you guys also so guys excuse the mess um that wasn't planned part of the video i just want to show you myself my body at the moment <clears throat> So you get a rough idea, kind of my body stature at the moment, and that is from the side. Yeah, and like I said, <clears throat> I'm fluctuating between, um, I'm fluctuating between, sorry, 83 and 84 kilos. Guys, so if there's anyone that wants to join me on the journey, please do leave some comments below. If there's any dietitians out there, if you've got any good advice you can give me as I'm progressing through this journey and vlogging, well not, I don't know if you're vlogging but doing videos on my journey, please give me some advice. I would greatly appreciate it. Any personal trainers, anything you can advise. Again, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, so this is my second video. Um, yeah, taking account of the first video I did. Uh, vlogging my health journey many more to come guys i hope i can get your guys support in this because i really need it i've been struggling with my weight a long time women out there if you've been struggling also please leave some comments uh, um i'll be really great i'll be really happy to know what's going on um in your life and your journeys if you like the content of this video and you can relate uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, share this joy uh, for video with your fan friends and families. Um, yeah, and I look forward to doing this journey with you guys. And yeah, once you share it, if there's other people that can relate, come and join the journey too. So <clears throat> yeah, guys, I'm going to enjoy my weekend now. I'm going to let you enjoy yours and I'll see you uh in you know the upcoming videos doing these vlogs and also other vlogs relating maybe reviews as well so guys have a lovely weekend take care bye